allora diciamo sono molto molto visto io sono Welcome back, welcome back. This is why in the morning and of course uh, today it's all about matters concerning youth and politics. Now my name is Ram Aguko. In this conversation that you are about to have, if you're just joining us, we want to talk about matters concerning uh, youth and their role when it comes to peace. Are you an ambassador of peace? And of course, what are you doing, especially during this electioneering period, to ensure that you your neighbor and your neighborhood as a whole is peaceful and we are going to have a you know a, 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 a peaceful uh, moment during this particular season remember 28 days to the general election what are you doing so far what kind of conversations are you having what about incitements what about riots how can we stop this and as youth be peace ambassadors Today, let's talk about this particular conversation. And of course, to help me in this uh, uh, discussion, to my far right, I am with Mr. Samuel Karuita. He is a, a director at the Peace Ambassadors Integration Organization, Kenya. He's also a peace activist, a youth mobilizer, and a social innovator. Karibu sana, Mr. Samuel. Thank you so much, Lam. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. Asana, asana. And next to me, I'm with Wanjiko Figa. <laughs> She is a development communications specialist, a women's and uh, uh, youth rights crusader, and a pan-Africanist. Karibu sana, uh, Wanjiko. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. And of course, remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya, also streaming live through our website, and that's www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254, so that you can be able to watch us on the go from wherever you are. We value your feedback. The hashtag as always is why in the morning. Tag me at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. And of course, head over to our Facebook page and Twitter. Follow, like, and subscribe where possible. And of course, uh, uh, ask your questions as we continue with this morning conversation. It's all about matters concerning peace right here on this conversation on why in the morning. And of course, let me start with you, Mr. Samuel. What is uh, Pabio, Pambio all about? The Peace Ambassadors Integration Organization. What is it all, all, all about? Before we get into the nitty gritties. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Ram, for that question. Uh, uh, Peace Ambassadors Integration Organization, uh, first and foremost, is a civil society organization. It's a registered uh, non-governmental organization mm -hmm. uh, here in Kenya. And this organization basically is a peace building and youth empowerment organization that was started uh, back in the year 2012. And the interesting thing about uh, Peace Ambassadors Kenya is that uh, it started as an initiative of young people mm. in institutions of higher learning in collaboration with the Kenya Administration Police Service. So in a way, okay. it works okay. as a national community policing uh, initiative. So young people are the ones who came up with it. Yeah, it, yeah. The brainchild. Yeah, they are the brainchild, you know, uh, of this, you know, uh, organization. Uh, how did you get the police service into, into it all? Now, that's an interesting bit. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it is. It, it is. Uh, how did you get that? It's uh, an interesting, uh, interesting. You know what happened in uh, 2010 after the promulgation of the new constitution. Yeah. Uh, you know one of the you know uh, responsibility that went to the national police service was about uh, community uh, uh, community policing. So yeah. okay. as young people, we also saw that there's an opportunity also for us there to get involved actively in community policing because when we talk about peace, uh, mostly and you know we have to talk about you know things to do with crime and all that and young people are integral into that conversation so we feel that as young people there's a you know an opportunity for us you know to uh you know to do some impact to have some impact there mm -hmm. so uh mm -hmm. and of course you know some also in a way uh some of the founders you know for this organization uh one was a uh, you know, an active police officer, okay. Mr. Francis uh, Koori, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and who came together with you know, young people from institutions of higher learning, and that is how that uh, kind of, you know, marriage started. All right. And now, All right. uh, 10 years after, uh, you know, after, you know, we started the organization, you know, we are growing strong, you know, I've had so many thousands of and thousands you know, of young people, mm -hmm. because specifically what we do is that we establish and coordinate 
uh, peace clubs institutions of higher learning. Okay. We are in about okay. uh, 40 universities, you know, in this country, mm -hmm. just trying to give young people an opportunity to use their ideas, their skills, and their talents, you know, in two things. One, for to grow themselves, you know, uh, in terms of, you know, getting the skills, okay, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. also to give them a space in which, you know, they can give back to the community All right. to grow up, you know, not mm -hmm. with a, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 a whatever of a, a, an attitude of uh, entitlement, but mm. also responsibility. Mm -hmm. no, yes. I interesting, interesting. I, 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 I love the part because, you, you, said, you, you know, there's this a silent um, emotion mm -hmm. between the youth and the police mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's there but so silent yes. <laughs> and so, so I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in finding out let, let me come to you and Jacob um, what do you think is the role of the youth how, how can the youth play part especially when it comes to being peace ambassadors in the country especially during this electionary during. period yeah thank you Ram for that question you know um, being um, I joined peace ambassadors when I was in campus it, it helped me. It was, you know, peace ambassadors. What it does, it 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 ha it enhances structures for peace building. Mm -hmm. So as a young person, you learn how to uh, importance of social cohesion. Mm -hmm. And as young people, first of all, you be the change. If you want to see the change, be part of the change. Let, let, let the change yeah, start from you. From you. So come on, apenda amani utenesa tu amani. So in, in terms of any time of conflict. Um, your first reaction is not to fight or to speak an angry words. Yeah. It's to first really understand the situation and see how to solve it. Mm -hmm. Especially during this electioneering period, we have the campaign, uh, campaign Bilanoma. Uh, especially as my, myself, I'm campaigning on ground. My first thing, and you see, I, I actually really appeal to the youth bloc. Mm. So, and you know, right now, young people have really felt really excluded from, you know, politics and, you know, just growth and development of the country. So if they feel like it's time, yeah, we, we don't want to see older people, it's just now it's fighting mm. for your space. Mm -hmm. And I tell them we have to really look responsible. You have to show we want to be part of the change, but in a different kind of way. It's how you act, how mm. you respond to situations. Yeah, yeah, so you have yeah. to be part of the change. Uh, and uh, uh, there uh, exist structures, social mm -hmm. structures, that you know promote peace uh, today in do, our do, community. Do we have those structures. Yeah, yeah, we have, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, structures. Uh, and I would say in this one, I think uh, uh, one of the stronghold, you know, that we have, you know, as a country is, and this is especially the space, you know, we, in which you are uh, of this, the civil society organizations. You know, I think they have, in a way, you know, organizations like uh, Peace Ambassadors Kenya and so many other youth-led organizations out there. I think they've created uh, that space, you know, for young people, you know, to be involved, uh, you know, to become responsible, you know, uh, citizens, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, even when we talk about, uh, you know, uh, creating that space also for young people, you know, to get involved in politics, okay? Yeah, yeah. We can look at it in two ways. One, there's an opportunity, of course, uh, for young people to be involved, you know, in elective, you know, uh, politics, mm -hmm. you know, to learn for office, you know, uh, to become, to offer themselves, you know, for leaders, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think we, have, we also have a very big, you know, space uh, is that young people can also get involved, you know, in uh, democratic, you know, participation. I, yeah. I, I, love, I love the fact that this year yes. mm -hmm. we have so many young people who are coming yeah. up to vie for yeah. elective that's positions. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, I, th that's one thing that I, from all the elections that I've seen, this, this was the most is, is my, my own personal <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, and I love the fact that you see, you, you know, you're right. Young yes. people are coming up. Mm -hmm. We need mm -hmm. to take our yeah, positions. Sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We have to really, you know, give them that uh, space, you know, for them to know that, you know, because they have something, you know, to offer, you know. And uh, I, I like you saying, giving this, you know, analogy of whereby uh, maybe you book a hotel, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to order food, you know, you can decide to go to the restaurant. Yeah. You can order it from the room service, but for a long, for so many long time, you know, we've had this situation whereby young people, you know, w the way we behave because I was also a young person, you know, it's <laughs> like we order, we like. <laughs> ordering food from, from room service, okay? Yeah. And we are saying that, uh, and then we end up, you know, uh, 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 complaining that we are not being involved. So I think for us, and that's why we are saying that there's nothing for us without us, you know, as young people, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for us, you know, to, you know, instead of us, you know, ordering food from the room service and complaining that it doesn't have salt, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to go Let's to do two there. things. Let's either become the cooks, 
or number two, <laughs> you need to go near to the kitchen, okay? And we can only yeah, do that exactly. one by, you know, uh, <laughs> getting to elective, you know, uh, politics, politics, but also being involved <laughs> in the political participation. Otherwise, we yeah. con continue complaining that this food does not have salt. Yeah, um, and uh, I uh, think we've all been looking at uh, political participation of young people yeah, in parties. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it has been very youthful. Mm -hmm. I agree with you that this time round it has been very useful. Yeah. And even with our pa participation, it has been peaceful. Uh, we haven't done such things, but we've been very vocal in putting our... Uh, Except in, in some areas, though. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, in yeah. very it's, uh, yeah, minor we, incidents, we yeah. 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 But we've been very vocal on showing how we as young people can contribute meaningfully to our communities, to our society, and especially now in this democratic space. I, I, I love what you said. That instead of ordering food and then complaining mm -hmm. that, you know what, there's no salt in this yeah. food, yeah. go to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Cook it yourself. <laughs> Cook it. But you know, you have, you, you've got to be employed to, to, uh, to, 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 to go there. Yeah. Uh, 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 you must find your way yes. to get to that kitchen yes. for you to be able to cook. That means putting an initiative mm -hmm. to apply yes. and to buy mm -hmm. yes. and to get it yes, that's for you yes. to be part of yeah. the, the, the whole process. Mm -hmm. And yes. you're vying for a seat? Yes, yes, yes. I'm running for the member of county assembly seat in Juja constituency, a ward called Theta. Ah. And um, Ebu Ongena, watu wa, 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 watu wa Kiambu County. <laughs> Wacha ni wasali. Hey, hello, <laughs> good morning, Theta residents. Uh, this is Sarah Njiko Dega and ni mimi na waomba kura yeah. za kiticha MCA. Yes. Kwetu nyumbani. Uko, uh, people talk uh, the, the language, the dialect? Is... Yeah, the, the dialect is Kikuyu. Kikuyu. Ebu Ongena, Kikuyu. <laughs> Let me give you a chance. Talk to them in Kikuyu. Oh, thank and of you course, so much, Ram. Be an ambassador of peace there. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to you in a potter. Iko sawa. Let's try. Yes. I, I would like to hear it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sir. So, oh, so. I knew I'd do a data. Near the moteti, Jetago Sarah Jiko Dega, and the Drahoya get the care MCA with Tomusie, a retarded Dramo Hoya Fio, Mudure Kamiji, Nego Wega, now Mono Makedia, Trute Vera to do it with Bill Jedere. Neto yeah. domete, nato ina experience, nato ra hoya wera uyo wa MCA. Na mwono makiria, neto ra, da peace, uh, hidarede, atuta pigana. Yeah. Mimi na vijana wetu atuta pigana, tunataka kupijenga kwetu theta. Asha. Tuvo mtupatie. Mm. Asha. Opportunity. Asha. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying Asha. What does Asha mean? <laughs> Asha means no. No. Asha means no. Yeah, it means yes. no. Guy. It means no. <laughs> what does yes mean? E. E. Or Negro. Uh, yeah. Negro. <laughs> so let me just to say uh, that, you know, one of the things, you know, that I'm very proud about uh, Peace Ambassadors Kenya is yeah, that yeah. it can nurture leadership, you know. Uh, and I'm very proud of, you know, people like, you know, uh, Wajiko, you know, in a way that, uh, you know, now they they have even that capacity and they can believe in themselves and they even want to offer themselves you know for leadership at national level okay mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. that is some, something that i'm very proud you know for uh, about peace abasa in kenya because it gives opportunity you know for these young people like from a start whereby you encourage and you, you know you start uh, offering yourself for leadership you know mm -hmm. uh, and leadership mm -hmm. can be in different you know spaces even in the in a, in the in the public space in terms of like the social change you know uh, platform okay mm -hmm. whereby you can you know be able to get you know some of these you know skills you know, and the confidence even to offer now yourself also into national yeah, you know, yeah, leadership. Yeah, and yeah. I think because one of the biggest, you know, challenge for young people that I find, uh, especially that stops them or limits, you know, their capacity to offer themselves for national leadership mm. is the capacity, okay? Mm. So I think we need to be giving young people opportunity to also, because we say sometimes that uh, uh, where innovation is, you know, synonymous with youth, also, it's important for us also to have that capacity and experience. And yeah. where can young people get the experience? Mm -hmm. They can get it if they become involved citizens. You know? now, now, yes. now, let me, let, let me still uh, pick it up from there. Yes. Still from there. But now let me expand okay. you in a bit. Mm -hmm. you know, how can you now um, build capacity for peace interactions at the community level also? Um, uh, so that we, 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 yes, we talk about the individuals, mm -hmm. but now at the community level where we are talking about a particular area, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in the country. Even I, as you as you connect it with your point. Okay, so okay. Mm. I think uh, I will give an example. Okay, mm. uh, of something like we are doing. You know, in a, within our organizations. Okay, so one, two things. One, 
we need to also give uh, start giving you know spaces because one of the things that you know young people lack is the space you know to have a conversation mm -hmm. you know and to drive the narrative okay so i feel that uh, we need to create more spaces like this whereby young people can interrogate issues okay yeah, ask questions yeah. you know mm -hmm. hold power without into account fear. without yeah. fear or okay or yeah or intimidation okay another one also we need to also to be to start involving them in, you know in uh, some of those you know activities i'll give you an example uh, one of the things that we've done all the major activities that we've done uh, this year in the leader you know leading the, you know to the elections mm -hmm. uh, we organized a, a peace walk okay and uh, for a whole month that was the whole of last month we ha we had wow. young people mm -hmm. almost 1000 young people walking all the way from Kakamega to Nairobi for 21 days traversing all through those counties and holding public forums, you know, in all the counties that they went. Walking. You know, walking. Yes. No, vehicles. <laughs> no vehicles. No vehicles. No vehicles. No vehicles. Nothing, you know, yeah. just changing, no, you know. Samuel. Yes. No vehicles. No vehicles. <laughs> 600 <laughs> kilometers. Nairobi. 600 yes. kilometers. Then there. 600. <laughs> and you know what happens? Ah, you deserve a standing yes. ovation. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. What happens when, you know, you... You, you know, you get involved in that one. Also, you also change as a person because you get a different, you know, dynamic. You know, uh, you're able yeah. to see the challenges are there. You get a kind of exposure mm -hmm. and the confidence you are talking about. Also, you build the confidence. You know, wow. yeah, to do that one. So, yeah, we need more of such, you know, programs uh, out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, good thing with uh, Peace Ambassadors Kenya. As you've heard, we inter we integrate with um, the police fraternity, and uh, it has really good connections because it goes all down to you know, to, our gr to grassroots. Mm. So this means that sometimes you're able to be involved in alternative dispute resolutions mm -hmm. that yeah. will go yeah. on through on the ground. Mm -hmm. So if there's uh, any conflict that's going on, you're able to even just engage your local chief and say, I, I would like to sit mm -hmm. in and mm -hmm. just watch how conflict resolution is done. Mm -hmm. And you really get first-hand yeah, experience sure. from it. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy because you're able just to get a letter from Peace Ambassadors Kenya and they're able just to give you a nice reference. Mm -hmm. And because even your chief knows you, yes. yeah, yeah. It's, just some, it's just a formality just to mm -hmm. be able to engage you in the process. All right. Yeah. So, 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 so we, we, as a community, we need to just come together, you know, um, have talks, yes, yes. interact, exactly. interrogate, question exactly. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. without getting violent. Yeah. 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 And, and, and feeling personal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. How, how can we um, reduce? Because I'm looking at uh, what happened at Jacaranda. Yeah. And that's just one example. Mm -hmm. There's so many other counties or wards that we've seen riots and chaos. Some have not been highlighted by media. Media. <laughs> <laughs> sure. yes. and, and truth be said, we need to talk about this. How can we reduce such kind of incidences? What do, what do we need to do? Um, for me, as myself, what I've been talking to young people is telling them that we cannot continue being used as, you know, um, violent, uh, as tools for violence. Because if you look at such situations, you find most times it's young people who are on the battleground. Uh, mm. Away from it, it's, mm. uh, you find it's, um, it's, it's structures from government that, that uh, mediate peace and young people on the ground. I tell them, if you die today on ground, who lose? It's, it's your mom, mm. it's your mom, it's your dad, mm. and you live your life in, in, through untimely death. You have, we have to be much more than we, we, can, we, we give towards. And the reason why we are not even, you find that people sometimes do not give us leadership opportunities because of how we act. Yes. Yeah. So we have, it's about changing mentality. We know behavioral change takes time, but here we are doing the actual job. But at the end of the day, behavioral change can be achieved. It can it be can. achieved. It can be achieved. Though it, it takes can. time yeah. and, and, and lots of psychological mm -hmm. uh, manipulation, yeah. for lack of a better term. <laughs> yeah. But mm -hmm. it's is achievable it is yeah, achievable it is. right yes yeah. and j just to add on that one i think uh, what you know uh, she's talking about you know is in, in the short term you know some of those things that we need to do later right now but also i also think that uh, also strategically we also need to think uh, because i believe that there's a very huge nexus mm -hmm. connection between uh, uh, you know between peace and livelihoods Okay, because again, yeah. we need to ask ourselves why you say that you know these young people are being manipulated, you know, which makes them very vulnerable. Okay, so at uh -huh. the end of the day, you find that uh, 
there's a very huge gap, you know, when you talk about uh, youth and employment, you know, mm. and uh, livelihood. Such yeah, that, you know, yeah. when I'm idle as a young person, okay, and maybe I'll even have the excuse, you know, to apply myself, you know, but I don't get these opportunities. Mm. I'm trying to have my own hustle, but uh, there's so much, you know, the bureaucracy, the bottlenecks, you know, cannot allow exactly. me to drive as a young person. So what do you find? And that's why I always say that uh, one of the hardest, you know, things for a young person to do in Africa and in Kenya is to become an adult. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, there is so much that you know uh, you struggle a lot even, to get even though it comes naturally and yeah. uh, employment, you know, yeah. even to get into you know uh, leadership positions. So yeah. and I think it's a high time that you know we allow young people you know to become to mature fast. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, by giving them those opportunities, you know. So that's why at the end of the day we have to also relook, you know, our economics. But you know, know some, are, some are asking. Yes, yes, we are relooking the economy. You are saying we give them the opportunities. Yes. Where are they? They're asking, where are these opportunities? Where are these jobs? See, that's a question. I'll, I'll give you an example of where the jobs are. Okay? Uh -huh, if yeah. we had an enabling environment, young people are very innovative. Okay? Oh, if you take an example, you do a, just a, a simple set, you know, set as, you know, among us, your own friends, you find uh -huh. that out of your 10 friends, five are trying to sell you something. They have a side hustle. They have ideas. Have, you know, they have the ideas. These uh -huh. days, you don't even need a shop to open a, you know, a, to run a shop. Yeah. On IG, people are running businesses and all that. So that tells you that young people, uh, they have the ideas. You know, they already have this idea. So whatever they are lacking is just that opportunity. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. And we always say that you know, success happens when opportunity meets with what uh, preparedness. So they are prepared. They are only lacking that kind of you know, opportunity. Wow. So we wow. need to give them that kind of opportunity mm -hmm. for them to try. Yeah, yeah. And I think pill, pill free, uh, access to small weaponry is mm. um, another hindrance to you know, peaceful existence right now among young people. Yeah. And, and again, like Sam is saying, we need to look at, uh, give it a long term mm. uh, resolution. Yeah, because yeah. You know, you name to aboda na beba, mama kona kiondo na beba. You never see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah. are always keen to talk about nuclear weapon, atomic yes. bombs, yes. but we don't talk about small <laughs> um, yeah. weaponry. We, we don't talk about the wars <laughs> out happening outside <laughs> the country, yeah. Yeah. and we are forgetting the small wars yeah. that uh, uh, war is war. Yes, there is no big or small. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like let me not. rub that. <laughs> <laughs> we are forgetting that we also need to fight our own battles here. That's yes. true. Very true. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And, 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 and the solution is, can we find the solution now within, within ourselves? Yeah, I think we can find the solution in ourselves in, you know, in, in two ways, okay? Yeah. One, uh, first of all, I want to believe that, you know, peace is also very personal, you know? Yeah. And one of the biggest, you know, challenges uh, that uh, young people are facing right now is, you know, it's just to do with mental health, you know, yeah. and all that, okay? Yeah. So I think it's, this is a conversation that we need to start, you know, also having about, you know, uh, young people and mental health. And that's one of the ideas that we work on at our, our program on health whereby we are giving uh, young people the skills, okay, the social emotional skills, okay, to be able to handle themselves, you know, uh, to have that kind of emotional maturity, mm. but also to uh, also see how they can be able to handle their personal conflict, internal conflict, you know, mm. uh, individually, okay, and interface. So that I ask myself, before I go there and have peace, you know, and become a peace advocate, am I peaceful mm -hmm. myself, okay? Within me. Within me, myself, yeah. you know, and yeah. I need, you know, capacity for me to be able to do that, to have that kind of, you know, awareness, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that one, I, 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 there's an opportunity, you know, uh, for doing that one also. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, like I also said, that also peace, it's, it's, it's a very broad kind of, you know, a, a thing. And uh, I'll give an example. For example, where I also see that there's a lot also, also opportunities is when you talk about the SDGs, okay, mm -hmm. that uh, young people, and if you look at all the SDGs, at the end of the day, they are trying to, like, to promote, you know, that peace. Uh, and for those who yes, don't concept. know what SDGs oh, are, okay, okay. <laughs> we are talking about sustainable <laughs> development, development goals. Goals, yeah, yeah. the sustainable development uh, goals, yeah. okay? Uh, uh, like, again, you are saying nothing for us without us, you know? So mm. young people, we have a great opportunity there to offer leadership in trying to drive that agenda for what achieving the sustainable development goals yeah. in education, you know, in decent uh, jobs, in climate change, you know? Those are places that we can apply ourselves. And if you're able to do that one, at the end of the day, we are contributing to that. Uh, Peace, right. you know. Now, now, now let, still on you, Mr. Samuel, and then I'll, I'll, okay. I'll come to you with yet something mm. similar but in a different perspective. What is the role of uh, uh, government and leaders, our own leaders, when it comes to promoting peace? Mm -hmm. How can they also play a role? Because at the end of the day, they are the ones who youth look uh, 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 up to. So I think uh, when it comes to, like, to the government, uh, 
two things that I can say that comes into my mind. Uh, one is that uh, first and foremost, you know, the government itself, you know, as the leaders, you know, they have to. Uh, the, 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 the custodian of sort, uh, the, you know, the, what do you call, like, uh, uh, they have the responsibility to ensure that there is law and order, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. uh, within the country, yeah. of which I, I think that our government really tries to, to do that when the security agencies and all that, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. so I think that space, they also have to, uh, they, they have done well, that they have yeah. done well yeah. okay, to but the on the other side also, I think also, uh, in the long term, also the government also needs to create opportunity because I said at the end of the day, mm -hmm. for us to be able to have, uh, uh, to be at peace at the end. In this country, I think one of the greatest uh, things that you know we've done is that people don't fight because they hate each other. Okay, mm -hmm. they fight because they are fighting over resources and all that. So if yeah. you had <laughs> more opportunities, if I had, I have an, uh, you have an opportunity, I have an opportunity also. Mm -hmm. There's no need for us to. If like, I would get a penny for every yeah. time I've yeah, had sure. that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you'd be a rich person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You don't yeah. see me here. You know, yeah. so <laughs> I think the government also needs to create that uh, opportunity. Yeah. yeah, for resources. You know, yeah, the resources, you mm -hmm. know, uh, for the people. But also, they also have to be part and parcel of also this dialogue that we're having. Okay, because at the end of the day, the people who cause the chaos and the mayhem, they are the politicians. Okay, mm -hmm. but also as young people, we need to also be wise. Okay, we can no longer continue being used as you know voting machines. Yeah, okay, that yeah. they need us only during the election yeah, after that one, they, yeah. they forget and us. That, that is the perspective of our political leaders. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. When they need somebody, mm -hmm. and of course not all. When yes. some, some need somebody, some them, yeah. they come to you. Mm -hmm. But when they get their votes, they disappear. Mm -hmm. They're gone. They disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like some of our relationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come to you, <coughs> Majiko. Yes. And of course, you can also ch ch chip in on that particular issue. Yeah. But the role of the church. The role of the church. And uh, not just the church, as a whole, religious entities mm -hmm. and organizations, whether Christian or not. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, and also just to tip on what Sami has said, mm -hmm. we there the exist you know structures from the government that uh, promote peace, but uh, you find that. Um, most of um, the, the individuals involved in this process are mostly older generation. But if you look at Kenya today, 74% mm. of Kenyans are young people. Yeah, they yeah. have to see a face that they can relate with. Mm. They have to hear somebody speaking their language mm. so that they can relate with. Mm -hmm. Because it's somebody from their generation that can inspire them with their charisma and move them to mm -hmm. honestly understanding why peace is very important and why doing things different will take them further. Yeah. So um, there exists that institution, but can it be more youthful? Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. it can be, I think, if it's <coughs> more youthful, it will really de um, deliver results, higher but, results. But, but at, at the end of the day, even, even our, our leaders need to also know that they also play a critical role. Mm -hmm. yes. Once they get into that elective position, mm. they need to be peace ambassadors yes. wherever they yeah. go. Yes, That's yes, true. because whatever you say, whatever you post on social media, actually to, because today the biggest communication vehicle is uh, social, social media. media, understand that someone somewhere maybe was waiting for such sort of incitement, you know. The trigger. Yeah, they were mm. just, uh, so always um, uphold peace wherever you are on social right. Let's come to the religious uh, entities. Uh, religious entities uh, play a, a big role. You remember during the 1890s in London, the mm -hmm. church, even I think across the world, it's the church who would say who's the next leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, it's mm -hmm. not the church saying who's going to be the next leader. With time, power has really deteriorated because they people have found ways of infiltrating within um, the church and controlling th what the church is going to say. Mm -hmm. I think them owning their voice and taking back their power is very important mm -hmm. and not being manipulated by politicians and their money. Uh, right. It's so important to really mm -hmm. stand your voice, stand your ground. Mm -hmm. I see, you know, you can see the re religious institutions, you know, they have bodies that are trying to really uh, push uh, um, the manifesto of peace. Yeah. But sadly, you, you see this person and you know he, who he's aligned to. So you feel like this is a message that is being uh, pushed by a different person <laughs> from behind. Mm -hmm. So I wish if they can s remain... Mm -hmm. uh, a standalone body, so that whatever they are going to push for, it's mm -hmm. going to it's even hold yeah. hold power and mm -hmm. strength. Mm -hmm. And may they continue pe uh, preaching peace, because mm -hmm. 
I, you know, Kenya is a very prayerful nation. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people sure. go to church and a lot of people, <laughs> you know, listen mm -hmm. and, 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 and obey and trust their leaders. Mm -hmm. And you can be sure that whatever they say or mm -hmm. whatever messages they pass, exactly. they pass through, mm -hmm. it's going to be mm -hmm. upheld. Yeah. All right. I can add on that one. I say, you know, uh, there's something that we call the golden rule, okay, that says uh, in almost all the religions, you know, there's one thing that they agree. One golden rule is that, you know, love, you, are, you know, you love, neighbor, neighbor, you love yourself. You you love know, yourself. That one is cuts across all that, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think also one of the major, you know, rules that, you know, the church and religious institution, not just the church, even the mosque yeah. and the temples pray is that, you know, uh, it's about uh, changing the narrative, okay? Uh, in, in, you know, in terms of, you know, speaking to the people and speaking to the, when, when religion speak, it speaks to the heart, okay? Mm. So if you want to change the minds, you know, uh, of the people to become more peaceful, okay? So this uh, continuous thing we need to be speaking about, you know, the religious institution need to be speaking about uh, the need for people, you know, to be peaceful and to love other people as they. Love, love themselves, themselves, you know. Uh, that one I think is a space, you know, that uh, they really need to do. But also in that aspect of also character education, okay? Mm. Because I feel that religious institutions, they have a power and they have a mm. voice, you know, uh, uh, that they can utilize it. You know? So they also, they don't need <coughs> to shy away again from, you know, politics, especially divisive politics. Mm. They need to speak, you know, to some of those issues. Because, because they also have a following. Yeah, they have they a, fo oh, a following. Oh, a large following. Mm. Ah, yes. very large following. <laughs> thousands. Yes. And thousands. Yes. Uh, even millions, yeah. because religious entities play a role. Mm. They need to speak out. Mm -hmm. When it comes to shunning some of these mm. things, yes. they need they to need shun to. them. They need to. Right? They need to. Um, I, I, I love what you're saying now, but 10, 10 years down the line, Pambio, let's come back to you. Okay. Pambio, 10 years down the line, what are some of those milestones and those memorable moments you've had mm -hmm. during this uh, uh, journey of being a peace ambassador? Mm -hmm. Oh, there are so many of them, you know, but I'll just... That's a few, don't mention all. A few, just a few of them. I think uh, as an organization, one of the things that we really pride ourselves is uh, being able to create structures for peace because in one of the biggest challenges is there are no, uh, you know, structures, you know, for peace. And mm -hmm. for us to have sustainable peace, we need to have structures. So in terms of structures, what we've done, we've been able to set up and coordinate peace clubs now in over about that eight uh, universities and colleges in this country. And, and so you focus on universities and yes, colleges? Yes, yeah, and colleges. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. because you know that we feel that also that's a space uh, that uh, w is going to make the future leaders, right. you know, so right. in, in future, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we feel that we need to give those people a platform, you know, young people and a platform whereby, again, I said they can bring their ideas, you know, to become part and parcel of, you know, uh, solution makers, you know, mm -hmm. providing mm -hmm. solutions uh, within the society. So yeah. I like that one that we've been able to create those uh, peace structures uh, out All there. Right. I also feel that, you know, that uh, in the way of nurturing leaders, mm -hmm. okay, in a way that you fight today, if you fight a young person who've gone through our organization, they are different people, you know, mm -hmm. in a way, the, the way they think and also the, the way, you know, the things that they do, they're able to offer themselves, you know, uh, out there. And also we have so many unique programs, like we have a mentorship, you know, uh, program that we run, it's called the Mentor and Mentee Project. Mm -hmm. I would want to highlight that one. So what we do in this program is that uh, we identify schools, especially in marginalized communities, and we take these young people from colleges to be, go there and become mentors. Mm. Uh, you know, to their younger brothers and sisters. Right, right. Okay. Well, yes. uh, uh, what you, uh, memorable moments since joining Pambio. Pambio. You said um, you joined in. Uh, well, uh, well in, campus. Uh, yes, yes, in 2013. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, Peace Ambassadors Kenya gave me an opportunity in leadership because I was uh, uh, doing public relations for the organization mm -hmm. for. One year I served public relations, the other one I served as uh, treasurer. And it even offers you the platform of going through, you know, elections, because this process is through its elective. So you learn how to also even just do your own campaigns. And also, one of my mem memorable um, moments also, again, was uh, during the uh, Naivasha walk. Naivasha to Nakuru. And mm. we were preaching peace all, all along. This is another one. Yes. Yes. No, they can make it. This no, this is another one. one. Right. And, mm. and, and we're also looking at um, our environment because uh, Peace, Ambassador, Ambassador, and Peace Ambassadors Kenya has an environmental sustainability program. Mm. And we were campaigning avoid littering on the highways. Mm. So we were working as preaching peace mm. and also, you know, to Nasafisha highways it mm. as well. You no know, people 
throw things from yes, the window. Yes, who people will love littering. Yeah, I so mean, I really hate <laughs> that behavior. You finish your soda and you're throwing it but out the from, window. Yeah. From, the, from the vehicle, you're, you're traveling. Yeah. yeah. When I use public uh, service, I, if I see you littering, I tell you that's not right. But so, no, you have a I'm a shenda. Talk. I'm. Ah, you have a shenda. Ati ap ama. Uyo mnyanya na fagi yangu lazima pata kazi. Tuspotu pa ata kuwa na kazi. Job was not so. Job job creation. Yeah. And you know we have seen you know my tattoos that people are still littering. Wow, wow. wow. Yeah. I, but being a peace ambassador does, doesn't come without challenges. Uh, just briefly, what are the, some of the challenges you faced during this journey? Okay. The, 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 the uh, time. Yes. I, I would give two. Uh, one is of course you know. People don't understand, you know. Sometimes, you know, you go and talk to people because uh, people appreciate peace when there's no peace. peace. Okay, yeah. when it's peaceful, and you go and tell people, you know, peace is water, they will tell you, "What are you telling us?" Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, uh, those comments, you know, sometimes like when we are walking and you are trying to tell people, you know, love your neighbor, they will tell you, "Yeah, I love my neighbor. I'm not hurting them." You know. So sometimes, you know, you face that challenge. People don't really understand, you know, uh, peace and what it means. Uh, so the public, uh, the attitude that people have in general. Yeah, and then the yeah, other one, of yeah, course, you know, yeah. as a youth-led and youth-focused organization, also resources, you also need resources, you know, mm -hmm, into mm -hmm. this. I also think that the government should also be setting resources uh, to support organizations that are working on the All peace, right. you know, space. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I agree with him, honestly. Mm. You know, when you are doing the campaigns and you're talking about peace, what are coming, we generate a bit of after Kazi. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a job as well, preaching peace. Yeah. You know, people think it's not they a They think you are idle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so important <laughs> to preach peace. Like, if, if there's no peace, look at 207 to 8 post election violence. Mm. It really displaced people. I've met people who have gone through rape, people who have gone through. Trauma. We don't need to go back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seven. Yeah, that so was not good. Yeah, yeah, and I just continue praying and asking Kenyans, please, let's not go back to where you are. we were in two seven to eight. I think uh, we have had enough mm. disaster. COVID was enough for us. Yeah, <laughs> COVID we, was enough. Ah. Yeah. My so goodness. We don't need yeah, another sure. another mm. traumatic event for us. We just I, I, I love it. And, and, and as I said, you never know the value of what you've got until you lose yes. it. Yes, you never know the value of what until mm. the world runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we, but we have a peace walk yes. coming up. Let, to tell me about that. There's another one, and I don't know if I can join in this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like saying that we like baptizing people with fire. So one of the things that you're going to, become, when you become a peace ambassador, you need to feel the pain for that, you know, mm. yeah, for you to become a peace ambassador. Yeah. So we'll make you walk, but mm. not just work in, you know, aimlessly. Yeah. We will make you walk so that we can give you an opportunity to network with other young people when mm -hmm. you're doing this work. Imagine mm -hmm. a thousand or five hundred young people walking, you know, uh, and they have this a goal so one yeah, you yeah. get an opportunity to network because networks are very valuable uh, number two you also get an opportunity to also to uh, to get the exposure you know see country the Kenya is a beautiful mm. country also mm. into appreciate it but also an opportunity also to interact with government agencies uh, yeah, yeah. when you work maybe with an account a county commissioner mm -hmm. a police officer so you also understand that this especially like for police officers you know you understand that also police officers are also humans you know mm. because they are mm. fathers they are brothers now so you're working with them. Yeah, you're working with them. One so it changes your mentality also. Mm. Yes. So, so but, but it, it, when is it coming up? This then uh, uh, the peace walk. The peace work, we normally do one peace work uh, annually, so we've already done uh, that one for this year. But there are so many other programs that we have uh, within the organization. For, for this year? Well, for well, for well. this year, one yeah. of the other programs that we have, it's a very unique program, this, this thing we call the Youth Exchange Program. Mm. So once every year, we take uh, young people from Kenya to one of the East African countries. We've been right now in almost all East African countries, mm. and they go there for one week. Okay, okay. Uh, to go and have a kind of exchange with other young people from a different country because also we also want to uh, y y young people who are also global citizens mm. they need to see that build yeah. Kenya opportunities yeah. are not just in Kenya they are also in Uganda in Tanzania they can also go to Uganda and decide also <laughs> to marry there and, you know, okay. <laughs> so they you have need to, to keep that, that. <laughs> <laughs> we need to keep that kind of you know given exposure so that yeah. program is coming the youth yeah. exchange uh, uh, program this mm -hmm. year in September we are going to yeah. Dar es Salaam 
mm -hmm. okay, in Arusha to interact with uh, uh, you know, Tanzanians and create that and good neighborhood. come back with proper Swahili. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to bring this conversation to a close. Uh, and of course, uh, let me give you time to have a final word and talk to that Kenyan youth watching today. Wanjiko, what would be your final word? But uh, 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 not to forget that yes. she is also vying for yes. a member of county assembly position. Yes. Sindio, yes. let me not forget to mention that. Thank but you of, so of much. But of course, uh, final word, as you talk to your people, that yes. is your camera. Uh, Kenyans, this is my message to you, and also very particularly to my data ward residents. I hope to be your representative come August. And my message is of peace. Uh, whatever you are, whatever you do, even as you campaign for me, please remember that... Uh, we want Kenya to remain peaceful, we want to grow and move forward. I ask you please also to vote for me uh, this coming elections. Uh, it's time for, for development and for change. And we have to, to choose somebody different this time round. Right. I am capable and I am experienced and I am ready to do this job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me come okay. to you. Yes, final uh, word, sir. Yeah, my final word, uh, one is to first of all celebrate and appreciate all the peace ambassadors uh, out there within the organization, but also out there. Uh, we recognize uh, the good work that you, are, you, know, you continue doing for this nation. Okay, so we encourage you to continue uh, doing that one. So wherever you are, feel appreciated. If you would want to join us, you can find us you know, uh, on social media handles, you know, Peace Ambassadors Kenya, you find us there. Come, we we'll give you an opportunity. And then finally, let me also speak to young people who are out there, okay, and tell them, encourage them, you know, to offer themselves, you know, into, uh, to become leaders, to offer leadership in this country. And also to remind them that as a young per person, when you get an opportunity to become a leader, remember that you have to be a role model, okay? It doesn't mean that for you to become, uh, you know, that all young people are, you know, uh, they are good leaders. One of the, we have to, I don't want to give two models. One of the, uh, you know, person that I say is an anti-model, you know, for uh, not being a good leader. Was a young person. The most, uh, uh, the youngest, you know, person to ever become a president was a president of Sierra Leone. His name was uh, Valentine Stresa, okay? And he became a model of not how to lead a country. And then we have someone like Thomas Ankara, who was a very good president. So what I'm trying to say is this, being a youth does not mean that you're becoming a good leader, but it, you have to, it's a deliberate commitment. Offer yourself out there, be the, f the path, create the path, and offer yourself for leadership just like wow. Wajiko is doing there. Yeah. Wow. Let's walk the talk. Thank you so much. Peace begins Thank with me. Thank Peace you. begins. <laughs> and I, I love the fact that you're saying just because you're youth doesn't mean you become a good leader. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's just an opportunity yes. that you are a youth mm. that you can maximize yes. on. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate your presence. Thank you so much for coming. And keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. You have my 100% my support. The next Thank time you're going to walk, yeah. let me know. <laughs> I will look for the right where. Welcome, welcome. Some of us shoes, you see? Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you, these shoes uh, need track. By the time you come back, they will have one off. <laughs> ah, is it not Chomeka Soul? Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing. And of course, uh, uh, let's all remember, ladies and gentlemen, that peace starts with all of us, each and every one of you. In this coming election, we also play a role. We, if we want it to come out well, it is upon us. Yes. Thanks so much. This is uh, it's, it's all about matters concerning peace and um, uh, peace advocacy today. Uh, and of course, uh, I was with Pambio Peace Ambassadors Kenya joining me today on youth and politics. But that brings us to the end of this morning conversation. A big thanks to Peace Ambassadors uh, for coming, and of course, a big thanks to you. Thank you so much for being part of this conversation. My name is Ram Aguko. Promote peace. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. We are taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is why in the morning.